Abby, at that meeting, Superintendent Ryan Walters stood by what he told us yesterday that federal grants are being applied for and the accusations made against him by a lawmaker, Mark McBride, are totally false. Also happening today, employees at the State Department of Education getting emails from a spokesperson at that agency that if leaks continue from the department, employees will be fired. So we have a teachers union that has intentionally lied about this agency, about our work for the schools of the state. That's no surprise. Superintendent Ryan Walters taking time during Thursday's Board of Education meeting to address accusations that his agency has failed to apply for $272 million worth of federal education grants. Then they found a legislature, a member of the legislature and Mark McBride that will do anything that they tell him to do. So he just parrots their lies. He knows their lies. Walters claims the feds say they're on track for everything. KOCO working to confirm that claim and or the accusations made by House Education Budget Chair Mark McBride. Also on Thursday, State Department of Education employees received an email from OSDE spokesperson Matt Langston. We're not showing that email to avoid identifying those who shared it. But in the email, Langston saying any department employee caught leaking materials or communication from the department will be fired. Langston also going on Twitter, seeming to acknowledge that different versions of the email were sent to catch those leaking to the media. And as we work to gather more details on the status of those federal grant applications, we know right here at the state capitol that lawmakers are trying to pass a rule that would require the Department of Ed get legislative approval from lawmakers here at the capitol before they deny or pass on any federal grants offered to school districts around the country. However, that rule still needs approval from House lawmakers as well as the governor.